thank you so much for those words. I'm just going to quickly introduce uh, from the Kwantlen Nation, uh, who just also affected, Brandon Gabriel. Hi, nice SPM. Good evening, everybody. I know it's cold out there. Uh, my name is Brandon Gabriel from the Kwantlen Nation. My ancestral name is Kwalaquistan, and it comes from the ancient village of Kakate, which is now New Westminster. This past summer, I had the privilege of traveling up the coast of British Columbia by canoe. We traveled from Fort Langley on the Fraser River, 1,200 kilometers to Prince Rupert. We traveled by canoe. Our mission was to talk to people in communities up and down this coast and talk about the Enbridge Pipeline up north. We visited 18 communities. 14 of them were First Nations communities. Many of them were, were these tiny little villages. Some, some places where pop, the population was only 35. And some of them were bigger in size, 500 people or so. And it didn't matter who we spoke to. It didn't matter if we spoke to uh, people in First Nations communities, commercial fishermen, former commercial fishermen, loggers, miners, tourism people. It didn't matter. Everybody up and down this coast was opposed to the pipelines. Yeah. And all those people were being ignored by our government and the media. Yeah. Yeah. And one of the other things that we saw, aside from the spectacular beauty that is this province, we saw uh, the most amazing hospitality coming from these First Nations communities. They, people who had little to nothing would come and they'd share everything they had with us and they'd welcome into their homes and their communities and they'd share everything. And what we also saw were the, the long-term effects left by, left by clear-cut logging, left by mining, left by commercial fishing, and now they want to put oil pipelines across this province. And every time we went to one of these communities or one of these locations, the refuse, the toxic waste, the garbage, and the sicknesses that they left in the communities when they left when, when they left everything behind, they didn't care. They do not care. They they will pick up once a resource has been depleted, they will leave everything as is and they will go to the next place and do it all over again. The same thing will happen here. I'm from uh, the village of Kwantlen and we have our village in Fort Langley. And I hope all of you know where that is. Yeah. Kinder Morgan is planning to build their pipeline right through our reserve. No. No. We applied for intervener status and we had our hearing in Chilliwack. And the lawyer asked us, she said, how, how, off, like, how much fish do you guys eat a year? Like, do you, do you guys even eat fish anymore? We are a fishing community. We've relied on the waterways, the waterways that are right out there, just like the Slaywell Tooth just like the Squamish and the Musqueam and the Semiamu and the Tuasin and all the people up and down this coast. We rely on food sovereignty that is provided to us by these lands and these waters. There might be one thing that you might not know about the history of this country. In 1884, they, they introduced a law called the Anti-Potlatching Law. That law was in effect until 1951. It forbid First Nations people from practicing our culture, to sing our songs, to speak our language. And when I came here tonight and I saw the speakers speak, they're speaking our language and it's being respected by everybody and I love that. The one thing that I was, the one thing that I noticed, it's, it's history repeating itself. A foreign course of power supplanting its laws and its rules upon people to suppress them. Yeah. Yeah. When, when the judges granted the injunction for Kinder Morgan on the very land that we stand on, its course of power, its, fo its foreign course of power supplanted on all of you and all of us. We have to stand together. Yeah. So when the time comes, my friends, the same fight will be in my backyard, literally in my backyard. My dad, behind his home, that's where they want to put the pipeline. We'll 
I want, uh, thank you. <laughs> I, this, this is a plea. This is a plea from the Kwantlen people in Fort Langley. I want to ask all of you to come join us. I, I'm asking all the people that are standing behind us to come and be with us and help us fight this fight. We have to do it together. Hi, <laughs>